Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moves Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Taurus. <laughs> oh my God, I'm fumbling, fumbling, fumbling. I'm just like, some just told me, just get on, get on, get on. Just like, put your stuff on, like, you know, just do do what you need to do, you know? Um, and yeah, let's, 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 let's read back this. Like, I'm not even going to pause, take it off, and... No, you got you got to see the authentic me. You got to see, you know, my bloopers, as they would say, right? Um, but yeah, this is... <laughs> hey, guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moods Tarot here for another reading for the sign of Taurus. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribed, and those who are subscribing in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watches. Grab a seat. All right. I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you. Thank you so much for your continued lovely likes, comments, and shares, and continue subscribing to my channel. We have reached 1,000K, okay? I, I promise, from Aries <laughs> to Pisces, I won't have to keep reminding you guys of how happy I am that we reach 1,000K, which means our family is growing, okay? Um, never mind being, you know how people be like, fan supporters, all that. Like, I really consider you guys fam, friends, whichever it is. Um, and the reason why is because I feel like we can learn and grow from one another. Um, I am inspired. You guys inspire me. Um, and I hope I continue to inspire you guys. And just know that some of my readings may resonate with you guys and some of my, my, some of my readings may not. But this is why I tell you guys to subscribe so you can continue to stay tuned in because you just never know. This could resonate with you a week from now, two months from now, a year from now. Okay? And because it's crazy because I've, 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 I've encountered some titles and some readings and they straight resonate with me and I have never subscribed to this person. Right? And it was a whole six months later. So... There is, it's, it's like, I'm telling you when it's needed, it's, it's needed and it supports, you know, it supports your people. Cause you just never know when you give, just like if you see a homeless person, right? Like for real on some real stuff, like you see a homeless person, you give them a dollar. Just do you know, not even thinking like, okay, I'm going to get something rewarded after, even if you don't even think so pay it forward. Pay it forward. It does not do you no hard. And like, I mean, if you needed that dollar to buy a sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Then, okay, we can see that that at that sense. But overall, you give that dollar, it ain't hurting you none. But just know that you're going to get that 10 times fold. I'm telling you. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've done it. Like, I've done it. And the craziest thing is, like, I always gravitate towards it. And if I can't give, I'm not going to speak of it. I'm not even going to say anything. Even if I feel like you're 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 trying to cheat someone out of their money, I'm not even going to say that because I'm, I'm not giving you the dollar. So why should I say that? I cannot, you know, um, dictate how your life is because I'm not in your shoes. I don't know what it is to ask anybody out in the, out in the streets for a dollar. You know, I have, I'm, that's why I'm a firm believer of being grateful. Okay. And, um, and just learning to give when you can, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I wasn't. Okay. But then I wasn't poor either. You know what I'm saying? But I know struggle. Who? I know struggle. And what's crazy is my mom always made it, my mom always made it, you know, her duty to, like, even when we went to, like, um, the pantries, because back then, the pantries, when we were younger, was so, like, she made it like an adventure. She always made it like a trip. So we never seen her struggle, you know, because she, she didn't show us that. She made it, she made it exciting. She literally did, you know, and, and back in the day, pantries, maybe she, maybe I didn't see the weight or, you know, um, the lines or whatever. And as kids, we just playing around, but I, I think I would have remembered if I was bored at a line, my mom never had us in a line. We always went in. I don't know if it's back then there was scheduled times and they have, they kept count. Now it's. They give you a schedule time and everybody's like lining up early in the morning. Or maybe my mom did did, did do that and 
We just went on time. That lady was always on time. That was one thing. She didn't play about her time. She didn't, you know? But, yeah, it's always good to check it up with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't do it as often. I go straight to the reading. So I hope you guys appreciate this. There's going to be definitely um, different things. You know, in the beginning, I was striving for... um, and I'm going to be very transparent and honest with you guys. And just know that that's just what it is when you come in this channel. I'm just like that, okay? And you're going to just see a different type of content. You're going to see a different type of... Not even a different type of person. Like, this is me, okay? I'm just saying I'm just bringing it out a little bit more. Getting a little bit more comfortable in what I'm doing and what I'm loving to do and what is my calling. And I feel like this is my calling, okay? Um... But you guys can always like fast forward and see when I'm starting shuffling the cards and I start president. That's when I'm actually doing the reading. But I just I feel like it's it's good, you know, um, for you guys to see this and this other side of me. OK, um, but yeah, I'm telling you, like, I feel like you're going to see a different and it's going to be good. It's going to be good content for you guys. And as well as um, I'm going to start going live. Uh, more often now and just do my readings live I think it's kind of it's kind of better than feeling like I have to post afterwards um it just takes a long time so we're gonna try to do that um don't know when yet so I'm definitely not gonna give you a date but I will keep you posted definitely will keep you posted on that or you just see my pop-up that's why you guys gotta subscribe but anywho ancestors angels universe angels and um the Most High Jah, please give me consecutive messages for the sign of Taurus. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Sometimes I get like real stuck. And I hope you guys are not feeling stuck um, lately. Okay, I, I get stuck lately like um, when I'm shuffling the cards or if I'm doing something. Um, when I tell you I've done some um, some videos for different content, content, content. Okay, um, it's a different so a social media platform, and I really like literally get ner um, not nervous, but in the zone. And when I get in the zone, I get stuck. And when I get stuck, meaning like I got, I'm trying to process so much information at once that I get stuck. Okay. I even, like, personally struggle, struggle sometimes with anxiety, okay? Because I always want to get everything done at once. You should see when I'm, like, cleaning my house. Oh, my God, I did some thorough cleaning. But anywho, ancestors, universe, angels, most high ja, any message you'd like for me to relay back to the sign of Taurus, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Maybe that's why I didn't do all that um, in the beginning, and I'm changing it now because I talk too much. <laughs> but these two cards that I um, laid out was safe place. Telepathy. Oh, I love those. Energy is so real. And I'm going to talk about that too. I'm going to have a an announcement. on And, and like I really want to know if y'all think I should do that. But y'all know when I post that video. So stay tuned. <clears throat> We're going to take that. Since I like coughed out of the accountability. I kind of felt that. I kind of felt that. One more. Please and thank you. I'm all about energy. Mm. Spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening. And sometimes, um, When you meet someone 
and then you share you share a, a connection, right? You share a connection so deep in the beginning. And people say, "Oh, it's a honeymoon stage," but you don't you you don't want to quite call it that. And the reason why you don't want to quite call it that because it just it just feels too surreal. You don't want you didn't you don't you don't want it to to be like everything else because everybody calls that oh it's just a honeymoon stage, like nah don't 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 say it's a honeymoon stage, uh uh-uh. uh, because this feeling has been dragging, dragging and not dragging in a bad way but it's been lingering. Let's use that word. It's been linger- lingering for quite some time now, and I still feel that spark even after separation. And you wonder if this person feels the same way about you, and they do. But we question it. We question how we feel about someone that we care about because we have disagreements with them. How do we forget? How do we forget how someone makes us feel because we're upset? Or angry. How do we throw that away? How do we dismiss that? And this is where the spiritual awakening card comes in. It's because you guys are spiritually connected. And when you're spiritually connected, this is why the telepathy card came in. Because the energies don't lie. When that person walks away after an argument, you feel their soul. You feel that they're, you feel that they're crying or you feel that, that like, and it, 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 that like they're tearing up inside. No matter even if they slammed the door and said, you know, F you. Something about being spiritually awakened by someone you care about opposed to an ordinary connection. So me so you meeting this person is not no not no honeymoon stage. This is going to last. If y'all both want it though. If y'all both want it. And this is where the accountability card comes in. Who is taking the initiative? to work on this when you you guys do go you know come into you know a disagreement and a misunderstanding and then you guys go apart who holds who accountable first of all and foremost both parties should always hold hold like their self accountable because you contribute to anything neither you started saying it or there's a response to it Okay, there's something. But when we apologize or when we separate, like when we separate, who apologizes first more often? Who doesn't? You know, because I'm I'm feeling an unbalance. You guys are unbalanced right now. You guys are not balanced at all. And the reason why you're not balanced, you're not balanced because nobody wants to hold their their own self accountable for why certain things happen the way they are happening in the connection. And this is why I had say, stated before because there is one person who's willing to do the work and the other person is still waiting. Not waiting, but like feels like they got time. Because they're caught up in doing other stuff, which is fine because everybody has their own life. But the needs to support this relationship is not being met. Because someone is half-assing it. They are. And you can't. It takes two to tangle. And I see a great connection here. 
And it's not like your person is oblivious to what your needs are. But how much of communication is given? Are you telling your person? And it could be either or. Like I said, cross watches, grab a seat. Like who is who's doing the initiative to speak on what hurts, what doesn't hurt? Like th there has to be some type of communication. You're not hearing one another, but let's dive more deep into this because I feel like someone, someone is not doing, is not playing their part in the relationship. They're not, and it's because they're they're. I feel like they're you know. They're like, I worried about other things that they need to be worried about. But let's see if the energies in the universe can confirm for me, please. Someone, yeah, is minding other people's business. That has nothing to do with that they shouldn't even be a part of. Because obviously they put themselves into it. So let's let's see. I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth, but I'm just saying. Let me sneak you in for sex. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna be right. I didn't. Someone is as half ass in the connection because they still got half of their foot out the door. In someone's business where they shouldn't even be in because they put themselves there. I mean, guys, can I <laughs> mind in somebody in somebody else's business that they shouldn't be in? But hey, they put themselves in it. I wasn't good at math, but I think some of you guys understand what I'm saying. Let me sneak you in for sex. While one while one person in the relationship is so worried about oh my god i gotta make sure you know i do this because i i want i don't want this i don't want this person to be disappointed so worried about making sure your person is provided and well cared for while the other one is is being sneaky is being greedy want their cake and eat it too oh but what comes to what is in the dark world definitely coming to the light and when it comes into the light, I just hope that this person knows how to confess the right way, okay? Because, <laughs> Taurus, if it's you or your person, I know y'all can feel your person is is doing y'all doing y'all dirty, is out sneaking around. Ancestors, universe, three more cards, please and thank you. Please and thank you. I know this thing was like, I man, listen. My friends tell me lies about, my friends tell me lies about you. Okay? If you, if you asking anybody for advice about your person, And it's their friends, they're not gonna tell you the truth. They're not. What's that saying they say, bros before hoes? Yeah, they ain't telling you nothing. They're they're not they they then they're gonna have to hear from their friend about what they told you. No, they're not they're not gonna do that. They're definitely not gonna do that. They didn't throw their friend under the bus. No, because they make because. Your person ain't going to throw them under the bus. So they def not about to go throw them in the bus. Whoever was doing searching, be careful and be, be mindful of asking the wrong person for information. Because it might end up being that person that your person is talking to. So that's for some people out there. We keep repeating cycles. Why? 
So this is not your first rodeo. It's not. <laughs> yeah. You trying to hold this person accountable, but they're not trying to tell you the truth. You're going to have a you're going to have a commu you're going to want to communicate with this person. You're going to want to communicate with this person and it is not going to be so so good on your part cuz I think you had enough. I think you had enough and this conversation needs to be had if you want your person to straighten up. Now, for those who, yeah, if your person stepped out and is messing around with someone, <sighs> separation is going to come, and that's up to you guys because you guys have free will, but I don't think your person is going to make it with you. I'm so selfish and stupid. Yeah. I don't think they're going to make it with you. Because with this, for it to clarify for the spiritual awakening, this conversation, this, and okay, I'm gonna give you two cent, two, two energies that I'm getting right now. Okay, if you hold your, if your person finally holds themselves accountable, and you have this conversation, you stand firm in what it is that you want and what you demand, especially respect, love, reciprocation. Okay. And doesn't make you feel like you're in competition with someone else. Because if you have to go around snooping on somebody else's phone, that means you're not supposed to be in that relationship. I, I, I don't have the energy for that. I personally don't have the energy for that. You either be with me and act right with me or we're just like, I'm not wasting time. There's so much going on in this world. People are dying left to right. People are getting sick left to right. Okay. And now there's no, there's not even, there's not even the thing. Oh, okay, yeah, um, damn, you're getting older, so that's what. No, like, and we're not even gonna make it about that. But I'm just trying to say, when it, when you re continue repeating cycles, you're wasting energy. And I feel like this conversation that you're gonna have with this person is gonna shape them up to give it, give you what it is that you're asking, what the relationship is asking, their part. But then there's another, there's another energy, okay? You're going to have a spiritual awakening and realize that these cycles that keep repeating, you no longer want to continue anymore. And it sucks for your person because now your person has to dwell on the fact that they don't have as much chances as they thought they had. They thought you were stupid, okay? They thought you were naive, but they were the selfish and stupid one. Sorry. They keep taking advantage of good people and then expect good people to still be there when they're ready. No. I feel like some of you guys really wish that you can rewind how things were in the beginning. It is your soulmate. And you have a lot of soulmates in your lifetime. This comes from friends, family, all that. This is your soulmate. But you got to be careful when people say, you know, that that's your soulmate, that you feel like, okay, that's your end all be all. That does that. Is it? Is it? This is, this is love. Yes. But not if, it, but not if you have to force it. Not if it's only one sided. Shall I say? Let's dive more deep into it. And then I pull one of your moon, moon alology card. Why would they call it that? Ancestors, angels, please. Two or three cards. Sign up, Taurus. All right, we'll take, okay, two. So for the first card, truth, okay, is king of swords. Like I said, some of you guys are standing in your truth. You are. You guys, some of you guys are really not taking your person back, but you know that they want you. You know that they want you. 
<laughs> you know that they do. And with the Seven of Cups, be patient with yourself. Continue to be patient with yourself. You have options coming. You do. And that's the moment that you start choosing yourself. You start letting go of what no longer serves you. You start you stop you stop dreaming. Take time for yourself. Do some soul searching. Step away from this person and, and the thought of and I know it's hard. It's I know it's hard because you love you love this person. Even after what, what pr transpired, you still love this person. But you no longer want to feel defeated anymore. You no longer want to feel that you're repeating, you repeating things, you know, of, of the past over and over again. You want something new. You want something new. Yeah. Hello. Generosity. What you give into this world is what you get back. Didn't I not say this in the beginning about giving a dollar to somebody? Paying it forward. What you, what, the seeds that you are planted will grow. I cannot make this up. Your love, your passion, being nice to people and, and giving to this relationship, just because that person didn't value you, doesn't mean that you lost. Doesn't mean that it was in vain. The Most High has something in store for you. Can't you feel it? You're standing in your power. And if you have not yet, you will. Trust in you. Trust that you can get over what, these hurdles. And even if this means getting um, these hurdles with your person, because I feel like some of you guys, your per this there's a communication that is going to that's going to transpire between the both of you guys, and you're gonna re and your person's also gonna realize that these choices that they have, these options that they have besides you, is nothing compared to you. And the moment you start standing in your power, especially with this King of Swords. You're standing in your truth and, you, and you're demanding respect. And the moment you start doing that, you will see your person adjust. And if you don't, then you know that's one of the things that no longer serves you anymore. Just because of what we started in the beginning and how beautiful it was does not mean that the chapter may end soon or may not end soon. All we can do is continue to process, enjoy life, enjoy our person. And if that person does not see what it is that we bring to the table, then let them eat alone. Let them eat alone. In 2023, we're not wasting energy on people who can't see what we're bringing or, or appreciate it. Because not like they can't see it. There's a reason why they're here. A part of it. <laughs> Make sure this book person, whoever flipping verse it, holds themselves accountable. Because nobody got time for that. We are too grown to not be able to know and right our wrongs. It's time. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. I feel like you guys will overcome any hurdles that comes your way. As always, stay blessed. Peace.